what if you could maintain a healthy diet without breaking the bank? According to nutritionist attached to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex, Ms. Ambika Budu, it's not only possible, but easier than one might think. It just requires a little effort. Reporter Janine Brown brings us this nutrition feature as part of our health series. Eating healthy doesn't have to put you out of pocket. So says dietitian Ambika Budu. The biggest challenge in eating healthy, she says, is the commitment it requires. It requires effort, it requires planning. So you have to make that, that choice and you have to decide, well, I have to choose certain items that I need to be healthy. And then you have to take the effort to go and find those items and again, store them appropriately so you have them to use in a healthy way. Ms. Budu says often people's main goal in eating healthier is to lose weight. This leads to fad diets, those which offer unbalanced and sometimes harmful methods for weight loss. On the other extreme, recent health quizzes like strict vegan diets can leave people feeling overwhelmed. She says that the secret is establishing balance. You can just choose balance. Have foods from your six food groups every day and that is how you attain balance. You mentioned um, vegetables being important. Yes, vegetables are very important for everyone to have a balanced diet. But you don't have to have every vegetable that's out there. You can use what's in season. So if cucumbers are in season, you buy a lot of it. Tomatoes are in season, you buy a lot of it. You might get fed up of it, but you still will have balance by including the vegetable in there. Ms. Budu says a healthy diet can also make for a better time in the bedroom. Sexual performance can be um, viewed as a physical activity or a sport, right? But the thing is, it, it, the same rules apply. So if you want to be fit, you want to have a good sexual drive. You need to be healthy. You want to have energy. Now, we know that certain foods are also aphrodisiacs, which tend to affect your hormone levels and stuff. Chocolate is one of those. Certain mushrooms also, uh, some of those. People, some people choose to drink energy drinks and other types of drinks that give you boost of energy, right? But there are also drawbacks to those because you get the slump after. Referencing the fact that Trinidad and Tobago and by extension the Caribbean battles greatly with lifestyle diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes and hypertension, she says that the food at the end of the day is just one part of the puzzle for creating a better life. Staying active is just as important. Janine Brown, C News.